Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my everyday routine for when I am cleaning around the house or going out for a dentist appointment or even making mashed potatoes, which I'll tell you a little secret, that's what I was doing in between takes for this video. But for whatever you're doing, this is a perfect look. It is minimal, it takes really a small amount of time and it's really pretty, I think, at the end of the day. Here's how it goes. We're gonna kick things off with the foundation that I've been using in all of my videos to date, Your Skin But Better Foundation from IT Cosmetics. I really like this foundation, I've told you all that before in all my videos, and that's because it's really lightweight coverage, but it also goes on very nicely. I like to use my fingers, I know some people use a brush. Always wash your hands if you intend to touch your face. Super important so you can prevent bacteria from getting on your face, bad bacteria getting on your face that is, and causing you breakouts. I think this is a really great foundation for an everyday look because it does have that light coverage and you can build it as much as you want throughout the day but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin and I don't know about you but for an everyday look I'm just not looking to have that matte coverage. I I'm looking to have something fairly light in case I'm bustling about doing my everyday chores or other activities and I think this works really well for that. Now that the foundation is finished I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills now why did I overpronounce that? Let me tell you, I found out recently that I have been pronouncing it Anastasia for many, many years, and I am now going to correctly learn the pronunciation. I am very sorry that I've been mispronouncing this. In fact, I am actually thinking about putting together a video of my mispronunciations and how to correctly pronunciate a lot of brands, because I'm gonna tell you right now, I've been mispronouncing a lot of brand names, including this one, and this one is one of my favorites. I've used it in previous videos, and this is the Soft Brown Powder Duo, and I'm just gonna go in for this everyday look very lightly and kind of not too heavy on the brows, because like I said, this is an everyday look. You can build upon this look. Let's say you're going out maybe later that evening after a long day working, but for this, I'm just gonna go lightly through, fill in some of the gaps, but nothing too heavy on this one. Guy got a gap, okay, right there, yep. And I'm going to use the lighter shade of this powder duo for this part of the look. Next, I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I love this. I realize <laughs> I turned it the wrong way. This is the correct way. This is a great primer for your eyelids before you put on your eyeshadow. And I think with this look in particular, you know, we're not trying to put on a lot of heavy eyeshadow today. I'm just trying to really get that kind of pretty simple bare bones look. And this is a great primer for that. You're gonna see later that I'm going to be wearing a lot of neutral shades for this look. And the eyeshadow primer is really going to help pull the pigment out for those shades. Next, we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow, Urban Decay's Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, that is. This is a great palette for neutral shades. I'm gonna show you right here. I find this palette really interesting because you know, usually in a lot of their palettes, you'll see the lighter shades up here and then it goes darker the way down. This palette's really different. In fact, the first shade I'm gonna use, which would be probably the second or third lightest, is over here and it's called Combust. This is a really perfect base, at least I think it's perfect <laughs> to start with because it is a really beautiful neutral shade and it kind of has a nude. I would, I would say a nude shade to it. That would be like a comparable, but also there, it feels like there's a little bit of pink in it as well. Turn it so you can see. And it goes on really nicely. And the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with 13, which is right here, and I would say that and high, another shade up here, are the lightest on the palette. I'm just gonna go up to my brow bone and just lightly put that there. And 
And then I'm gonna go back with Combust again, just to round that out. Now after that, you have a choice. For me, since we're just using this palette today, you can either go in with a little bit of Whiskey, which is this shade here, or you can go in with Radar to put in your crease over here. What I'm gonna do is play it by ear. I might do one or the other, I might do both. To start though, I think I'm gonna go in with Radar and just lightly go here. The reason I'm gonna do that is because Radar, it's, it's a softer brown and I'm afraid, I mean, you can see how dark Whiskey is. I'm afraid that if I go in with that right away, you know, it might be a little too dramatic for this everyday look that I'm trying. So now that I'm looking at it, I think what I'm probably gonna do is go in with just a tad bit on this end of the brush of Whiskey. Boom, 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 right there. And I'm just going to lightly go in the crease area, but then I'm gonna blend it out. And you can see what I'm talking about here. That, I mean, a little goes a long way with the Whiskey color. And you don't wanna just like boom on a look like this because we're trying to create a softer, simpler everyday look. And if you ask me, I just don't think dark colors and a contrast like that screams everyday look. Maybe it does for you and that's awesome, but not for the look that I'm trying to create today. Again, you wanna blend it out just so it's not so harsh. After that, I'm gonna use Urban Decay's eye pencil in Double Life. I really like this eye pencil because it's a perfect blend of a darker eyeliner that's also brown, so it's not as harsh as a black eyeliner would be for this kind of everyday look. And it also just has this beautiful sheen to it, which I love. We're gonna go in here on the other side and finish that up. And it's up to you if you wanna do a winged look for this. I'm personally not going to, I'm just gonna line most of my eye and stop in the middle, but totally up to you if that's something you wanna do. We're getting close to the end of this routine. I'm gonna go in with two mascaras that you've seen before in my last video. One of them is a lash primer and the other one is a black mascara. Both of these are from Lancome. Let's get started with this and the full name is Lancome Sills Booster XL. It is a lash primer. Uh, I really do, I like this lash primer a lot. I think it really helps to accentuate the actual black mascara once it's on. And what I like to do is put it on both eyes first and kind of let it sit for about 15 to 20 seconds until it's tacky and ready for the mascara. I will say this, it's up to you if you wanna put it on the bottom line. I personally do not, but that is just a preference and if that's something that you wanna do, go at it. We're gonna go in now with Lancome's Monsieur Big. This is a perfect big lash mascara. It's also really nice if you, you know, you're wearing a, a lighter eyeshadow routine, which I certainly am for this look today, and you kind of want to have a little longer lashes. This is a perfect mascara for that. We're going to go in with my favorite blush, which is the NARS Orgasm Blush. This is just perfect for an everyday look, just a light little bit of blush, maybe not as much as you usually use. I'm just gonna do a little bit here and a little bit on the other side and maybe just dip it in just lightly, again, to give that nice little rosy glow. But for this look, we're just gonna keep it light and fresh. We're now at the last step of this routine, which is a little bit of lip gloss. This is the NARS Laguna Lip Tint. And I like this because it gives a little bit of sheen, but it's not like a full coverage lipstick for an everyday look. And it still keeps your lips popping. <laughs> and it gives it a nice, beautiful finish. And that is your everyday look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more content. Bye-bye.